Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be learning about a camera's aperture and focal length. So let's get on with the tutorial. An aperture is a hole or opening through which light travels. The aperture stop limits the amount of light that can reach an image or film plane. The aperture stop is referred to as the f-stop. The size of the stop can affect the depth of field. With smaller stops, which are larger f-stop numbers, allowing for a longer depth of field, and thus more distant objects will be in focus. The stop also limits the effects of optical aberrations, which is blurriness or distortion, with larger stops producing more distortion. The stop also determines whether the image will have a vignette or reduction of brightness toward the edge of an image, with larger stops causing more intense vignettes. The focal length is a measure of how strongly the camera converges or diverges light and determines the magnification of the image projected onto the image plane. A positive focal length converges light whereas a negative focal length diverges light. Longer focal lengths lead to a higher magnification and a narrower angle of view. Shorter focal lengths lead to a lower magnification and a wider angle of view. Focal lengths are usually specified in millimeters. Normal or standard lenses produce a field of view that appears natural to an observer generally 50 to 100 millimeters. This is the standard focal length used by animators. Wide angle lenses have focal lengths smaller than a normal lens with an angle of view between 64 degrees and 84 degrees, usually 20 to 35 millimeters. This type of lens gives the animation an exaggerated look and is used when you need to see the background but the character or object needs to be closely focused. Long focus lenses use a focal length that makes distant objects appear magnified, generally 85 to 600 millimeters. This type of lens is used to provide detail to a smaller part of a larger animation shot. The fisheye lens provides a very exaggerated wide angle lens view usually 6 to 16 millimeters. These types of lenses are used in very close scenes where a wide angle lens cannot capture the entire scene. Zoom lenses are used to move in and out of an animated shot while the scene continues to play, generally 18 to 35 millimeter or 70 to 300 millimeter. These type of lenses can also be used to change whether the background or the foreground is in focus. If you have a request for a tutorial or a question about Blender, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.